Hi guys and welcome back to It's the Little Things with Becky. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we are doing the BoxyCharm Makeup Try-On just to see well, if we like it, if we don't like it, how it works, how it doesn't work. Maybe you like it, maybe we don't, I don't know. But for today, just doing a little recap, we are trying on the Elemis, Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. So there's that. Uh, we are going to be trying the MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Chili. We are going to be also trying the El Rose Get Lit Metallic Fold Liquid Eyeshadow in Pure Gold. We are also going to be trying the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. And we are also going to be using the Ofra Banana Powder Brightening and Setting Powder. So I actually got all makeup this month for BoxyCharm, which I'm not mad about. Um, it was, I normally get one skincare item in that, but that's fine. I'm not mad at it. But yeah, we're going to be using all of these items today. So you guys know I like to start with my eyes first. So I'm going to somehow have to incorporate this um, eyeshadow, the pure gold one, and then the Ruby Obsessions one. I think I know what I'm going to do, but first let me prime my eyes. And for that today, I am using the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer and Eyes The Limit. Guess I could take off my glasses, that would help. Also, this video isn't sponsored in any way, guys. I forgot to tell you that in the beginning. And just a little bit more. I love this eye primer. I love it that it's so big, so I'm not going to run out of it as quick because you only need just like a little tiny bit. So I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use this first, the L Rose. And I'll show you guys what the inside of that looks like. So it looks like a nail polish, but I promise you it's a, a eyeshadow. I think I'm going to use that in my crease and then I'm going to create kind of like a gold red look. I'm going to keep the face pretty neutral today because we have such bold eyes and then a bold lip coming on. So... I'm going to take this and just put that in my crease. That's what the wand looks like. Oh, that's messy. Or maybe it's just me too. Alright, so that's how that's looking. Guys, this is a little bit messy, so you gotta have to be careful with it. It is a very pretty color, though. Alright, so that's how that's looking. I definitely need... To clean that up but so far I guess first impressions with this it's not bad it's just extremely messy all right so it is pretty easy to clean up Like I said, this is pretty 
messy stuff. I'm not sure how much I like those guys. I ain't gonna lie. Moving on, we are gonna use the Ru or Huda Beauty Ruby Sessions eyeshadow palette. So these are all red colors. Comes with a nice little mirror in there. I think I'm gonna start with using that in the outer, this color right here in the outer corner of my eye. This brush. So it's like a dark wine red. Alright, that's pretty. It's very pigmented. This is nothing to do with like the company or anything. I just always want to look for like pigmented and how easy it blends. And personally with me and Fallout, I feel like you're going to have Fallout a lot with eyeshadows. So I'm not concerned about that. Do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so that's how the eyes are looking so far. Not terrible. So, the next color I'm going to use is this lighter red for the inner corner of my eye. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm also going to be cleaning up my eyes off camera, guys. Just that this video isn't a million hours long. Alright, so there's that eye there. Gonna have to do that one one more time. That's how she's looking. And then I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just blending that out. Like I said, a very bold and dramatic look today. And then I'm going to use my finger and take this shimmery shade right here and just kind of tap it on the eye. That's pretty. And for these, I try to use as many colors as I can just so you guys get a good idea. What's wrong one? So, that shade isn't as shimmery as I thought it was, but it did line up the eyes just a little bit. I am going to go in, I think, with another shimmer and just add this shimmer right here. There we go. so that's the eyes and then in my inner inner corner I'm going to be using this shade right here just to make it kind of pop So 
and there's that side, and there's that side. I don't know how I feel about this L rose, rose gold. It's like, do you guys see that? It's like separating right here. I'm wondering if I need another layer. I don't know. Let me clean up my eyes and add another layer off camera, and I'll check in with you guys in just a sec. Alright guys, so I did clean up my eyes, and then I added, like, two more coats to that, and it is looking much, much better. I will say I read the box, and it does say shake well before using, which I did not do the first time, but I did definitely do the second time. Um, I like it. I do think it performed better than the first time I used it. The only thing is it's messy, so I don't foresee myself grabbing it too terribly often. It is a very pretty color though. It's just kind of messy and not something I personally like, like for an everyday look, but it is pretty nonetheless. Um, you could also use this as a base or as a topper too, by the way, but I do like it. It's just messy, but anyway, Moving on, I am going to be using the Elemis Primer next, and this has kombucha, ginger, and probiotic in it. It's supposed to help brighten, nourish, and hydrate your skin. So let's open this up and see. I try to save all my thoughts to the end of the video, but I'm just kind of giving a general view over here. So it's a pretty big bottle. But I love that word, kombucha. Like, I don't know why, I just think that is the funniest word, but I understand. So it says primer, so it comes in like a little squeezy bottle here. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so it comes out looking like that. Mm, it smells good, though. Um, let's see how it blends out on my skin. Feels very nice on the skin. Definitely feels hydrating, which I love. Feels really nice and lightweight. Alright, so it does give your skin just a little bit of a tint. But, I feel like once you rub that out, it is not as bad. Alright. Alright. So, I'm going to put on my foundation off camera, and I will see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. So, I put on my foundation and concealer. You guys have seen that before. That's why I didn't do it on camera. But for those of you that are curious what I've used, I used the uh, CoverGirl Clean Skin Milk Foundation in the shade Porcelain for my foundation. And then for my concealer, I used the e.l.f. 16-hour high or camo concealer in Fair Warm. Anyways, now we are going to try out this powder here. So, Ofra setting powder here. So I did say this in my uh, yesterday's video, but it is very lightly scented, which I do appreciate. It. And that's what she looks like. And it comes with a mirror, which we love. And I'm going to use this. It says you can use this to kind of set your under eyes. So, and um, another thing too, I got to read it again, but let me just try setting my under eyes real quick. Mm, I love that smell. And I'm just setting my concealer with it. So it does give off that little bit of yellow tinge, but of course I haven't blended it out yet either, but that's okay. what she looks like unblended. I mean, it's almost like my skin tone. So you guys probably won't even be able to see it on camera. Alright, so that's what it looks like underneath the eye. Now I am going in 
with my uh, powdered sponge from Real Techniques here, and I'm just going to kind of dab that. It says you can use the sponge either wet or damp or dry, and I'm just using it dry for right now. It says it's supposed to brighten up your under eyes too. Okay. That still looks like all blended out, and that darn sun is just getting in the way here. There we go. So, this is what it looks like. This looks like there. So far, I mean, I like it. I mean, it feels nice. And then it says you can conceal dark under eye circles, set concealer, which we did kind of both there. Highlight the under eye area, brow bone, and bridge a nose in the middle of your forehead and chin. Set foundation, matte eyeshadow. Okay, well, I'm just going to take this and we use this side and I'm just going to set the foundation. With it as well. she's looking. It feels nice on the skin. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Alright, cool. Oh, you can use this as a matte eyeshadow, too. Cool. Maybe if I just take that brush that I just used, and I am going to just kind of go down my nose and highlight with it, like I would normally do. Okay, so it kind of gives you like a natural look, which I'm not mad about at all. Alright, but this is what she's like on. Cool! Cool, cool. Alright guys, we are almost done. But I am going to go in with mascara real quick on my eyes. This isn't new. But this is the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. And I just wanted to use that on my eyes real quick and then we will get to the lipstick. If you guys don't mind a waterproof mascara, this is really nice. I got this in last month's OxyCharm and I like it. But that's just how the eyelashes look with it. Alright, now we are getting to the fun part, the lipstick. So this is, I have a hair on my face. There we go. This is in the shade Chili. It looks like this. I'm so excited to be getting something from MAC. This would be my first item I've tried from them. That's a pretty red. What is that? Let me just do a quick swatch for you guys. I did one in last year's video, but I'll do it. That's so pretty. Feels nice, too. Okay, so obviously I look crazed. I need to clean up around my lips a little bit. But that feels really nice and creamy on the lips. 
because I notice sometimes with matte lipstick, it says it can like dehydrate your lips and then your lips feel dry. But this so far isn't doing that. And I made even more of a mess. Hold on, guys. I'll finish this off camera real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I got my lips cleaned up. This is what it looks like up close. Like I said, feels very nice on the lips. And now we're going to go over everything. Uh, so, let's just start the lipstick. This MAC lipstick is very, very nice. Very hydrating, even though it is a matte. Feels very nice and creamy on the lips. I love this and I would definitely go and get this again, guys. Even in this shade, it's cute. Plus, it's like a perfect holiday color. It gives me Christmas vibes. So, I love that. You definitely go out and get that again. This Elemis uh, Glowing Priming Moisturizer. I like it. Um, Definitely kept my skin feeling nice and hydrated. I like this and I would go out and get this again as well. Uh, Huda Beauty Eyeshadows. Love them. They felt really nice on the eyes. They did a pretty good job with pigment and blending out all right. I would definitely go out and get this again too. This banana powder. I wasn't for sure if I was going to like it at first, but I think it did an awesome job. Like, look at my skin. Like, look how cute that is. I love this and I would definitely get that again as well. And the one thing that... I could do either with or without is the El Rose Gold. Now, maybe if it came in like a different color, maybe I would like it. It's just, I like it. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's just a little bit messy when you use it. So you got to be very careful when you do it and make sure you shake it up first before you use it. Um, I do like it, though. I don't want to come off as like bad or mean. Um, just a little bit messy for me. I would have reached for it every day, but it is nice. That is it for today's video, guys. Here's one last look at the final look. A little close-up for you so you can see. But I do like how I, I liked how everything turned out. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe. I messed that up. Don't forget to like this video if you want. And also don't forget to subscribe by hitting the little bell over there in the corner. It really does help me out a lot to see future uploads for myself. I upload on here Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and the occasional weekend video. Thank you guys for watching so much. I am going to head out of here and edit this video and put it up for you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys soon with another new video.